Hello Google Workspace fans. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can do mail merge from Gmail. You don't need to buy any third-party add-ons, it's built into Gmail, and this is how you do it. First off, you need to have a mailing list. There's two ways of doing this. You can either do it through Google Contacts or through Google Sheets. To create your mailing list in Google Contacts, all you need to do is go down and open Google Contacts. You go to contacts.google.com. Once you're inside Google Contacts, click the plus icon on the left-hand side and create a new label. Inside that label, put the people you want to receive your mail merge into it. So I've got one here called Sales, and I've got three people in here. So that's my mailing list completed in Google Contacts, and I'll show you how to send to that list in a few minutes. The other option is through Google Sheet. So just create a Google Sheet, and in column A, put the email addresses in, column B, put the first names, and column C, put the surnames. Surnames are actually optional, so you don't need to do that part. Once you've got your mailing list ready, head back over to Gmail and hit the Compose button. Once you've got the Compose window open, in the row that says two, go to the far right and click on this icon of two silhouettes and a plus icon, and this is how you turn on Mail Merge. So you click on there, and then you've got a tick next to Mail Merge. The email will turn purple, so you know that Mail Merge is now turned on. And then straight away, you can add from the spreadsheet. So that spreadsheet I've just showed you, if I click Add from Spreadsheet, this Google Drive window opens, and inside here, I can select the mailing list, and I can hit Insert, and you'll see here, that this window will then pop up. I just need to confirm the data on the on the spreadsheet. So I need to confirm which is the email column. So I click on there and confirm the email column. I then need to click, confirm the first name and the surname column. And you'll see down here, you get a preview. And in this preview, it will show you that it's got the names right and it's got the email addresses right. It's recognized the data. As long as it's correct in the preview, you're good to go and hit the finish button. So you can see in the two boxes now, I've got the mailing list in there from the Google Sheets, so that's now all set up. If I wanted to do it from the Google Contacts mailing list, all I need to do is type in the name, the label of that Google Contacts list that I've created. So if I type in sales, there you go, I can click on that and it's added the people to the two box. Now you, I can see the names of the people it's going to, but they can't see each other. So when you do send it, don't worry, they can't see each other. The next thing to do is decide if you want to do a plain text email or if you want to do one that's got a template with uh, graphics and images on it. If you want to do a plain text one, go ahead, just enter your subject line, enter your email, and you're done. However, if you want to do a templated one, don't en enter anything into the email at the moment because it will get wiped. What you need to do first is click on this icon down here to select edit a layout, select a layout even. Click on this button and then this window appears. In this window, you can then select a, some default layouts that are here that you can use for your email or you can create your own and if you create your own they'll always reappear here so you can always use them again they also get saved in google drive so you can share these templates with other members of your team so they can use the same, same template and they can also update the template as well so for this example i'm going to go for the default layout and i'm just going to select the newsletter one and i'm going to click edit layout what happens now is the layout the template that i've selected now appears in this preview window this is all drag and drop editing, so I can move things around however I like, and I can add elements and remove elements from this sidebar on the right hand side to design the perfect template that I want to use. Once I'm happy with the template, I hit the insert button, and that will now go into the email. It is warning me that if I have got any content already in the email, it's gonna be overwritten. I haven't got anything in the email, so that's okay. I'll hit the okay button. And there you go, the template has gone straight into the email, and that's almost ready to send now. All you need to do is give it a subject, so I'm just going to call it newsletter. And once you're happy with your template and you're ready to send, hit the continue button. You'll get this warning appear. It's asking you, you have got permission to send emails to these people, haven't you? And of course you have. So because you have got permission, you hit got it and that's okay. Then the next page comes up and it will ask you, are you ready to send? And you've got two options here. You can either click send a preview. If you click send a preview, it will send the email to your inbox so you can preview it before you send it to everybody else. And once you're happy with that, all you have to do is click send all and that email will now get sent. 